a great resource for inspiration and design are paper crafting books. These books are chock full of different designs that you can use for your crafting needs. In traditional ways of using these books, you would have to print this out, take it to your paper, trace it onto your paper, and then take an X-Acto knife or scissors to have to cut it out. Scan and Cut has made it so much simpler. I have here a design that I pulled from a paper crafting book, and I am going to take this and now make a cut file out of it. I can do this simply by hitting Scan to Cut. And this is going to take my image that I just pulled out of the book, and it's going to pull it and make it into a cut file. Because it's a nice solid image, it will outline it perfectly, allowing me to take this image and cut it out of any paper that I want. Now my image is scanned and ready to be created into cut data. I'm going to select outline. This will recognize the outside of my flower and allow me to see this as now cut data. I'll hit save. And now I have some coordinating orange paper that looks exactly like the drawing that I can easily cut my flower from. Loading my mat. I'm going to hit OK. OK. Cut and start. It really is that simple to take anything that you see that you can imagine and put it in to the machine through the scanning feature and create your own artwork in any color, in any fabric, any texture that you like. Now that my machine is done cutting, you can see how quick and easy it was to take a design that I loved and that I found and make a cut file from it. There's four other petals here that I can take off, add to any scrapbook page, any embellishment, anything that I want to do. If I want to applique this, I have the capability of doing it. Now I'd like to take it just a step further and show you how I can take this exact artwork and now cut it directly with the machine. I have my same artwork here. This is the page that I've gone ahead and scanned in. But what I'm going to do now is use the direct cut function. The direct cut function will recognize my outline of my image and cut it directly from my paper. Okay, we are going to go back to home and hit scan. And you'll see a direct cut here. I'll load my paper and hit start. The process of direct cut is fascinating. The scanner will take the information, read it, and then it'll actually process it into that cut file, but recognize the background of the paper to cut from. So here is my image loaded in. I can hit OK. And you'll see that it automatically outlines in a cut file. I can hit OK again, hit cut, and then start. This truly is an amazing feature that you can take these images and directly cut them from the surface without having to trace, without having to draw them, or even using scissors or an X-Acto knife. After it's finished cutting, I'll hit OK and remove my mat. And look how simple that was. I can remove my paper. You can see the outline of where I cut from leaving me this beautiful image that I pulled straight from a magazine or straight from my paper crafting book. This outline, this excess that I peeled off would make a wonderful stencil. This is a great way of using what you already have, you've already cut out, and now using it to your benefit. With scissors or X-Acto knives, you wouldn't be able to have this. So this is just another added bonus of being able to cut from Scan and Cut and now use this as a stencil for your project.